अच्छा ओके सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन सॉरी फॉर द स्लाइट डिले राइट आई होप एवरीवन इज प्रेजेंट इन द क्लास वेलकम टू आवर रैपिड रिवीजन ऑफ जनरल इंग्लिश क्वेश्चंस सो एस्टरडे वी हैड द कॉमन एरर क्वेश्चंस राइट एस्टरडे हमने कॉमन एरर का जो क्वेश्चंस है वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दिस today we will be moving on to the next set okay next set selecting words okay selecting words so selecting words is the most prominent topic right hamesha hame confusion hota hai udhar right hamesha hello shweta right hamesha we get confused in the selecting words questions right preposition kaha dalna hai in at kaha dalna hai object kaha dalna hai verb kaha dalna hai right all these confusions will be there in selecting words questions so i have brought around 15 selecting words questions 10 questions i'll be taking in the class other five questions i'll give it as a homework right other five questions i'll give it as a homework so let us start our rapid revision questions right rapid revision of general english questions so good morning everyone a very good morning so before we start with our class a small announcement of just 2 minutes so starting from 20th april for mechanical branch an academy is bringing an ignite gate and esc okay which covers both get and esc portions where you will be having basic concepts previous year questions numericals on each topic and doubt clearing session the links for all these are given in the description below right along with that there is there for electrical also these are the eminent educators who will be taking the ignite get and esc branch okay uh, the timings will be 7:30 to 9:30 and 10 to 12 am links are again given in the description you can follow the links given in the description and also for ec aspirants it is there even for the ec aspirants the ignite gate and esc branch is there it is the links are given in the description okay so please do enroll into it okay please do enroll into this yes it is a batch course on per plus where they will be covering everything every concept related to the electronics engineering okay or every concept related to the mechanical engineering so a batch course hai where they will be discussing the concepts numericals pyqs and doubt clearing sessions okay the links are given in the description please everyone do enroll it and please do make sure that all these things reaches to everyone okay these are one of the most phenomenal batches happening in our academy so everyone take due advantage of it right so let's start with our class so today's class i have told right what is our topic for today's class the topic for today's class is selecting words right the topic for today's class is selecting words let's move on to the first question right question number 1 the battalion operating from the mountain was able to tie dash three enemy divisions right the battalion operating from the mountain was able to tie dash three enemy divisions so out of these four options which one will be the right option so everyone are feeling it is up others vishnu yash okay shweta is telling it as a b good morning satyamev jayate right so the correct option is b tie down right not tie up right what is the sentence telling here tell me okay the correct answer is b okay it is option b is the correct answer okay tie down tie down ka matlab kya hai what is the sentence telling battalion battalion ka matlab kya hai it is an army okay the army mount from the mountain it was able to tie down three enemy divisions matlab tie down ka matlab kya hai break right break down into pieces tie down ka matlab kya hai unko harana right jo army mountain ke upar karya kar raha tha वो तीन एनिमी डिविजन को उन्होंने हराया नॉट टाई अप टाई अप मीन्स टाइंग द नॉट ओके टाइंग द नॉट टाई डाउन मीन्स ब्रेकिंग समथिंग अंडरस्टूड टाई अप मीन्स योर टाइंग नॉट टाई अप योर शू लेसेस राइट वॉट अवर टीचर्स वेर टेलिंग अस वेन एवर वी आर गोइंग टू स्कूल टाई अप 
your school uh, shoe laces right tie up so tie karna okay something which is joining is tie up something which is breaking is tie down right something which is breaking is tie down so the correct answer here will be down option b down because they are breaking down right you are eliminating the enemies right you won't join enemies right you eliminate the enemies so it is tie down okay if you tie down someone you restrict his freedom in some way you break down the person you eliminate the person or you restrict his freedom so the correct answer will be the battalion operating from the mountain was able to tie down three enemy divisions all the options right i will explain all the options up explain ho gaya right on tie on tie on means when you are tying a object okay you are tying on your shoe laces when you are doing for an object when someone is telling he will tell tie up when you are doing yourself it will be tie on tie with right tie with when you are along with the object right along with the object ka matlab kya tie with i am tying with vishnu i am tying with yash so when you are doing it when you are someone is assisting you or with someone you are doing it right with someone you are doing a uh, operation then it is called as with right all the four explained any doubts in this tie up means when someone is telling you to join the laces tie down is breaking something tie on means when you are doing it yourself right and tie with this when you are assisting someone or you when you are doing it with someone right when you are doing it with someone clear shall i move on to the next question right okay yes question 2 since january 2020 our customers will be able to use the atm network of bby bank the bank that was acquired by us during that year right so this thing i have underlined will be able to use so is this correct or not if this is correct go for no improvement or tell me which is the right option right four options are given if this is correct give me that option d or else go for these three options A A C B A A D A A right so which will be the right answer since they are telling right since 2020 so why is since used is it used for past or use it used for present tell me since January 2020 January 2020 say right January 2020 say हम इसको use कर रहे हैं right so it won't be will be able to use right what will be the right answer right don't you think it's option a right don't you think it's option a yes it is option a since january 2020 matlab january 2020 se right january 2020 se hamare customers hamare atm network ko use kar rahe hain right hamare atm network ko since january i am taking classes on an academy right since january soumya has been able to go to her college right since january subhajit is attending the classes right to iska matlab kya hai from a past point of time right from a past point of time so it won't be here it is future will be ka matlab kya hai future so i should go for a past tense right have been able to use where using is wrong will have been is wrong again right so have been able to use right have been able to use is attending the classes is going for it they have been able to use from that time right from that time they are using it that means they have been able to use it from that time so it is option a right option a is the correct answer present perfect continuous should be used 
as the work until in the past still continues right since 2020 iska matlab kya hai it is still continuing right atm band ho gaya nahi na atm band nahi hua right atm is still working so leave aside the corona crisis but the atms are still working right so they are still working so if you use just where using it will be just past right it will be just past so it is wrong you should go for a continuous tense right you should go for a continuous tense continuous tense ka matlab kya hai have been able to use that is they are still using from that time till this time okay from that time till this time we were using baking powder right we were using baking powder since 2020 we have been able to use baking powder got it vishnu first one is just telling it simple past right simple past here because of the word since since ka matlab kya hai from a past amount of time right since 1989 ramayan was the biggest television show to be aired right so since 1989 they have been airing ramayan right they have been aayega right you got the point here have been will come right have been because it is a continuous tense happening so it is option a any doubts shall i move on to the next one chalo right yes now the treasure was hidden dash a big stone the treasure was hidden dash a big shore okay it is not stone it is shore s h o r e right shore on underneath towards off so which will be the right answer the treasure was hidden dash a big shore good morning ranak मल्टीपल ऑप्शन चलो अदर्स ट्राई दिस ट्राई दिस पीवाई क्यू ओके सो ऑल प्रिपोजिशन प्लीज डू ट्राई इट ओके ए डी बी डी बी बी सो एवरी वन इज थिंकिंग बी राइट सो वॉट इज श्योर मीन राइट Tell me shore. Shore का मतलब क्या है Side, right? Beach side. Beach वाला side नहीं Beach का side. Goa है ना Goa? Goa का beach. Beach side, okay? Beach side is called as shore. So will it be on a big shore? Underneath का मतलब क्या है अंदर गुफा दिया अंदर okay? Underneath मतलब underground, right? The hidden treasure are underneath the temple uska matlab temple ke andar means inside underground okay towards towards ka matlab they are facing okay towards is facing so it b is to a and on right so it is a and d so between a and d which will be the right answer right it is option d right it is option d on ka matlab kya hai it is on a big shore that is it is on the beach side right off a big shore ka matlab kya hai What does off a big shore mean? The treasure was hidden off the shore. Off the shore का मतलब क्या है? It is hidden somewhere near it. Okay, understood? Somewhere near it. So this is somewhere near it. Okay, somewhere near it. On a big shore, right? On a big shore मतलब big shore है उस पर है. That you cannot tell. Why will you not tell it? Why will you not tell it? Tell. Okay, it is big, right? It is big. Big का मतलब क्या है? इतना बड़ा आइलैंड में, how can you tell exactly? <coughs> okay, okay. Yes, इतना बड़ा एक इसमें, how can you tell exactly that it is there? Right? You guys are getting the point. Those people who got confused between A and D, right? Those people who got confused between A and D, there is a big island or a big beach side. In a big beach side, you cannot tell exactly, right? 
बिग बीच साइड यू के नॉट टेल एग्जैक्टली पता चला अभी ओके बिग एग्ज इट्स नॉट लाइक बिग शोर इज देयर सो यू के नॉट टेल एग्जैक्टली इट इज लाइंग ऑन ए बिग शोर राइट सो यूल टेल ऑफ समवेयर इन द बिग शोर अंडरस्टूड द पॉइंट हियर ओके ऑन इज रॉन्ग वेन यू आर टेलिंग एन एग्जैक्ट लोकेशन रॉनक इज सिटिंग ऑन अ बिग स्टोन He is sitting on the stone, right? Ronak is living on the roof, right? La Ronak is living on the terrace, okay? Kiran is coming on to the floor, okay? So that is called as on when you are using an exact location. Underneath ka matlab hai underground, okay? So KGF was hidden underneath. Sorry, gold. Sorry. Gold was hidden underneath KGF, right? Gold was hidden underneath KGF. One minute, Vishnu. There are too many comments, right? Okay. Underneath, yes. Underneath का मतलब क्या है? Underneath का मतलब क्या है? It is inside, right? So you don't know whether it is inside or outside, right? Okay. You don't know you are inside or outside, right? Vishnu, what's the point? Okay. Underground, you can't go. It is a beach side, na baba. So it is basically an island. So island के underneath कैसा हो सकता है treasure? It will be inside the water itself, right? It will be inside in the water. So you cannot tell underneath a big shore because the word big is used. Understand the point? The word, the adjective big is used. Hence you are going for off, okay? Not towards. Towards is obviously wrong. No one gave it, है ना? Underneath or off, underground. So gold is hidden underneath KGF. KGF के अंदर gold मिलेगा. Treasure, it is somewhere in the shore. Okay, treasure is somewhere in the shore. Here I am telling an exact point, right? KGF, right? Here I am telling the exact point. So KGF. This is why gold is hidden underneath. But here it is not an exact point, right? Exact point, not. This is why these two will be wrong. This will be the right one. Somewhere in the big shore, right? Somewhere in the island. Clear? Clear, Vishnu? Yes, yes, sir, Vishnu. Both are having same doubts, right? राइट क्लियर विष्णु अंडरनीथ कैसे नहीं है इसमें बिकॉज द एब्जेक्टिव बिग इज यूज ओके सो इन अ बिग थिंग तो आप समझो ओके इफ यू नो ए एग्जैक्ट लोकेशन यू कैन टेल हा इधर हमें वो वेल मिलेगा यू कैन डिग इट हियर राइट सो दैट्स वॉल द आर्क्योलॉजिस्ट टेल राइट दैट्स वॉल द आर्क्योलॉजिस्ट टेल बट If it is a big thing, right? So in a big thing, you cannot tell. You will tell somewhere there you can find a well. You are getting the point here. Somewhere there you can find a well. So that is what they will tell. If you know the exact location, ha, either gudai karo, either gudai karo. Iske niche treasure milega, right? Iske niche treasure milega bolenge. But ye to big shore hai. To big shore mein ab kaise bata sakte ho? Pinpoint nahi kar sakte ho na? You can just tell ha, either kadar hoga. Ham sab jagah dhoondenge aur dekhenge, right? Dhamal movie. ऑफ किसी से लीव लेते हैं तब भी यूज हाँ वो पे ऑफ ओके पे ऑफ कॉम्प ऑफ ऑफ डे ऑफ ओके सो दैट इज लीविंग हाफ डे फुल डे सो दैट इज ऑल्सो यू कैन यूज ऑफ राइट चलो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए लिटिल रेल रोड इंजन वाज एम्प्लॉयड बाय स्टेशन यार्ड फॉर डूइंग स्मॉल पीसेस ऑफ वर्क राइट वॉज एम्प्लॉयड बाई ए स्टेशन यार्ड दिस इज अंडरलाइन सेंटेंस सो टेल मी विच वन विल बी द राइट सेंटेंस राइट Tell me which one will be the right sentence. Okay. पोल सिस्टम लेकर आएंगे राइट राइट सो बी गुड राइट सब लोगों ने मिलकर आंसर दिया राइट right? तो सही होगा है ना चलो यस इट इज ऑप्शन बी वॉज एम्प्लॉयड बाई ए स्टेशन यार्ड वॉट इज स्टेशन यार्ड राइट इट इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट राइट 
स्टेशन यार्ड का मतलब क्या है राइट स्टेशन यार्ड का मतलब क्या है इट इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट वॉट डज यार्ड मीन पिक्चर्स यार्ड क्रिकेट तो सबको पता है राइट यू गाइज नो वॉट इज अ क्रिकेट क्रिकेट में बोलते हैं ना पिच यार्ड सो दैट इज अ बेसिकली ए स्पेस ए स्पेस इन द स्टेशन ओके स्पेस इन द स्टेशन सो दैट इज कॉल्ड स्टेशन यार्ड विच इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट हाउ कैन एन ऑब्जेक्ट एम्प्लॉय समवन हाउ कैन अ ऑब्जेक्ट एम्प्लॉय समवन टेल मी हाउ कैन अ ऑब्जेक्ट एम्प्लॉय समवन इट वाज यूज्ड एट द स्टेशन यार्ड राइट इट कैन नॉट एम्प्लॉय समवन राइट हु विल एम्प्लॉय अस अ सब्जेक्ट राइट सो अ बिगर पर्सन विल एम्प्लॉय अस राइट अ स्मॉलर पर्सन विल एम्प्लॉय अस हाउ कैन अ ऑब्जेक्ट एम्प्लॉय अस ऑब्जेक्ट हमको काम नहीं देता ना ऑब्जेक्ट हमको काम नहीं देता तो दिस इज रॉन्ग अगेन राइट वाज मेड बाय अ स्टेशन यार्ड हाउ कैन अ ऑब्जेक्ट डू अ थिंग राइट वाज मेड बाय सो सौम्या मेक्स पैनकेक्स राइट सौम्या मेक्स पैनकेक्स दैट विल बी राइट इफ आई टेल द पैनकेक वाज मेड बाय द कुकर दैट इज रॉन्ग राइट द पैनकेक वाज मेड बाय द कुकर दैट इज रॉन्ग using the cooker soumya made the pancakes that will be right okay an object cannot do a work an object cannot do a verb right so this is also wrong because the object is doing work it was used at the station yard right at the station yard at that space exactly you are talking right exactly you are talking at that space we use the little railroad engine engine ko us jagah pe use kiya tha right इंजन को उस जगह पे यूज किया था सो इट इज ऑप्शन बी राइट इट इज ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर क्लियर एवरी वन एनी डाउट इन दिस शेल बी मोर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सी हा इधर देखो वॉज एम्प्लॉयड एट द स्टेशन यार्ड है ना वॉज एम्प्लॉयड एम्प्लॉयड का मतलब क्या है इट इज अ वर्क राइट इट इज अ वर्क वाई विल यू एम्प्लॉय समवन कुछ काम करने के लिए राइट सो रेल रोड इंजिन इट वॉज यूज एट द स्टेशन यार्ड वाई विल यू एम्प्लॉय एट द स्टेशन यार्ड इट इज नॉट वर्किंग देयर राइट इट इज बींग यूज देयर स्टेशन यार्ड स्टेशन का जो प्लेस है उधर हम इंजिन को यूज कर रहे हैं राइट इट इज नॉट बींग एम्प्लॉयड देयर ओके Yes, employed is used for living beings. Okay, it is employed. So when you are employed for something, employer, employee का मतलब क्या है, right? Employee का मतलब क्या है? What does employee mean? Tell me. Subject who is working, right? Subject who is working is called as employee. Subject who is working is called as employee. So was employed मतलब इसका मतलब क्या होगा? Okay? इसका मतलब क्या होगा? Engine को station yard में काम करने लगा दिया है, right? Engine को station yard में काम करने लगा दिया है. वो wrong है. Engine को सिर्फ use किया है, right? We have just used it for an object. We have not made it for working in there, right? It is not being used for working there, right? It is only being used there. It is only being used there, so it is option B. Got it? So we are clear with this. ठीक है? So if you use employed, इसका मतलब क्या है? इसको हम काम करने के लिए लगाया है. काम करने के लिए नहीं लगाया है. इसको सिर्फ एक space में use किया है. We have used this in a space, right? So it is option C. हाँ चलो विष्णु ने दे दिया एग्जांपल देखो सो वन ऑब्जेक्ट वन सब्जेक्ट टू सब्जेक्ट्स यू कैन यूज एम्प्लॉय व्हेन बोथ आर ऑब्जेक्ट्स यू कैन नॉट यूज एम्प्लॉय राइट नो असाइंड इज डिफरेंट ओके असाइंड इज डिफरेंट असाइंड का मतलब है व्हेन यू आर गिवन ए वर्क ओके सो लेट मी गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन राइट सो असाइंड वेन यू आर गिवन ए वर्क Okay, employed when you are working, right? Okay, assigned is when you are given a work. When assignment, assignment kya hai? Teachers hume assignment dete hai, right? Teachers give us assignment, so they give us a work to do. So during the lockdown, the teachers assigned us many works, right? Unhone assign kar diya. Ye tu ye kam karega, tu ye kam karega. So that is called as assigned. We were employed in the bridge work. 
We were employed in the bridge work. मतलब bridge का जो काम है वो हम कर रहे हैं राइट ब्रिज का जो काम है वो हम कर रहे हैं सो दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन असाइंड एंड एम्प्लॉय क्लियर क्वेश्चन चलो द नेक्स्ट वन इन दीज ब्लीक एंड डिप्रेसिंग टाइम्स ऑफ डैश प्राइजेस non performing governments and dash crime rates ms dhoni has given us indians a lot to cheer about okay in these bleak and depressing times of dash prices non performing governments and dash crime rates ms dhoni has given us indians a lot to cheer about so tell me which are the two things which will cover this blanks so of dash prices so either be increasing hua right increase word increase adjective you have to put right hello surya prakash or not performing and dash crime rates so either be increase right dono side aapko increase ka adjective dalna hai so escalating increasing both means increase right escalation so it is increase again going to a higher level increasing also higher level spiraling and booming so what is spiraling circular okay something which is a circular so that is called as spiraling booming sudden increase booming ka matlab hai sudden increase spiraling again circular okay soaring is also increase right soaring ascending and debilitating right ascending so he is ascending from the throne wo throne se niche aa raha hai right Vikram Aditya is ascending from the throne. He is getting down the throne, or he is coming from the throne, right? Ascending, debilitating, right? So D wrong here. So between A, B, and C, you have to choose one option, and the correct option is option C, right? Prices are usually called as spiraling up, right? Prices are usually called as spiraling up. राइट right? ये लो प्राइस है ये हाई प्राइस है सो यू गैस डिट नो अबाउट दिस ऑब्जेक्टिव सो डोंट वरी ओके डोंट वरी आई विल टेल यू द ऑब्जेक्टिव राइट इंक्रीजिंग ऑफ सोरिंग क्राइम ओके सोरिंग मींस इंक्रीजिंग रैपिडली एंड प्राइसेस दे ऑलवेज हैव अ सर्कुलर फिनोमिन राइट सो दिस इज अ हाई प्राइस एंड दिस इज अ लो प्राइस तो पहले कितना था इतना था इतू सा था राइट right? इतू सा था हमें पांच किलो पांच रुपए में दस किलो ऑनियंस मिल रहा था सो इतू सा बाद में बढ़ता गया राइट right? बाद में बढ़ता गया सो दिस इज व्हाट वी यूज फॉर स्पाइरलिंग ओके फॉर प्राइजेस यू गाइस डिड नो अबाउट दिस ऑब्जेक्टिव सो डोंट वरी यू हैव लर्न न्यू थिंग टुडे ओके यू हैव लर्न अ न्यू थिंग टूडे वेल एवर द प्राइजेस आर यूज यू कॉल इट एज स्पाइरलिंग अप राइट बढ़ता जा रहा है प्राइजेस गो लाइक दिस ओके प्राइजेस गो लाइक दिस ओके प्राइजेस गो लाइक दिस सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज स्पाइरलिंग ओके तो स्पाइरलिंग इज द राइट आंसर बूमिंग इज सडन इंक्रीज सोरिंग मींस इट कीप्स ऑन इंक्रीजिंग ओके बूमिंग इज सडन इंक्रीज राइट बूमिंग इज सडन इंक्रीज सोरिंग मींस इट कीप्स ऑन इंक्रीजिंग ओके सो द क्राइम रेट इट इज कीपिंग ऑन इंक्रीजिंग हैव वी एबल टू फाइंड आउट अ डेडलाइन फॉर द क्राइम रेट नो क्राइम रेट बढ़ता ही जा रहा है राइट right? रुकने का नाम ही नहीं रहा है आज पांच है तो कल दस होगा दस से पंद्रह सो इट कीप्स ऑन इंक्रीजिंग सो इट इज ऑप्शन सी स्पाइरलिंग एंड सोरिंग राइट ऑप्शन सी स्पाइरलिंग एंड सोरिंग सर इज द वर्ड असेंडिंग रिलेटेड टू फिजिकल मूवमेंट नो 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 और यू कैन यूज इट फॉर अदर मूवमेंट ऑल्सो इट इज नॉट लाइक फिजिकल मूवमेंट नीचे जाना है सो दैट इज फॉर फिजिकल मूवमेंट असेंडिंग सो समाइम्स ही असेंडेड द थ्रोन ओके ही केम डाउन द थ्रोन okay you can use it not for physical movements you can use it as an adjective also that was an ascending way of talking to the people right so not correct way so that also you can use it is not just related to physical movement you can also use it as an adjective and also as a verb clear everyone clear with this understood option c should i explain it again you have learned a new thing today prices always spiral up okay spiral up uska matlab kya hai ऐसे जाता है इज अकॉर्डिंग टू ए सर्कल 
राइट चलो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई अडेप्टेड न्यू मेथड टू सोल्व द प्रॉब्लम I adapted a new method to solve the problem. So instead of this underlined word, which word can be used, right? Instead of this underlined word, which word can be used? सर ये कोरोना खत तक खत्म हो जाएगा हो जाएगा जल्दी हो जाएगा जल्दी हो जाएगा जल्दी हो जाएगा राइट सो सी द स्पेलिंग गाइस राइट अडेप्ट राइट चेंज ओके अडॉप्ट मतलब अडेप्ट का मतलब क्या है अडेप्ट का मतलब है चेंज व्हाट डज अडॉप्ट मीन टेकिंग द मॉडल राइट टेकिंग द मॉडल Copying the model. So I uh, discussed this, right? Idioms, right? Idioms. Everyone remembers this. Prepositional idioms, है ना? जल्दी खत्म हो जाएगा. Don't worry, right? So what did I tell you? Okay? Prepositional idioms, right? Prepositional idioms. I adapted a new method. Method का मतलब क्या है? Model, right? What does method mean? Model. So won't it be adopted? Right? Isn't it option B? See the question. No. See the question. I adapted. Adapt is change. Okay. So Shwetaank adapted to the new climate of Delhi. Okay. Shwetaank adapted to the new climate of Delhi. इसका मतलब क्या है? जो Delhi का climate है, उसकी वजह से change हो गया चे Shwetaank. He changed. He adapted to it. Delhi का मौसम बहुत ठंडा है. So Shwetaank was living in Rajasthan. Okay. He moved on to Delhi and then he adapted to the climate. He changed according to the climate. So that is adapt. Adopt. Adopt means copying some method, taking some method. Okay. The Greek government adopted the Ujwala scheme of Indian government, right? LPG ka jo scheme hai, that was adopted by the Greek government. Matlab unho ne hamara model se inspiration liya, right? So I adopted a new method. मैंने एक नया method found out किया ताकि मैं ये problem solve कर सकूँ, right? So always see the spellings, okay? Always see the spellings. So it is option B, right? Option B is the right answer. Instead of I adapted, it should be I adopted, right? I adopted. Clear, guys? Shall we move on to the next question? ये में क्या प्रॉब्लम है चलो ये कर आई हैव बीन अडॉप्टेड राइट आई हैव बीन अडॉप्टेड इज रॉन्ग ओके आई हैव बीन अडॉप्टेड इट इज अ कंटिन्यूस टेंस सो हियर यू हैव टू टेल अ सिंपल टेंस राइट हियर यू हैव टू टेल अ सिंपल टेंस बट व्हाट इज दिस दिस इज अ कंटिन्यूस टेंस है ना ये कंटिन्यूस टेंस है सो इट इज रॉन्ग ओके इट इज अडॉप्टेड सो सिंपल वर्ड मैंने एक मेथड सॉल्व किया मैंने एक मेथड से प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व किया बस उतना ही सिंपल वर्ड है आई अडॉप्टेड न्यू मेथड यूज ए कंटिन्यूस टेंस आई हैव बीन अडॉप्टेड इट्स रॉन्ग हैव बीन इज कंटिन्यूस टेंस आई हैव बीन अडॉप्टिंग ए न्यू मेथड होगा राइट कंटिन्यूस टेंस सिंस टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी आई हैव बीन अडॉप्टिंग ए न्यू मेथड Since my 10th standard, I have been adopting a new method. So that is a continuous tense. Here you need a simple tense, right? Here you need a simple tense. So it is option B. Clear? Ah, ing. Yeah, that is what continuous tense. Clear, Soumya? Chalo. The next question, okay? Dash about prolonged power cuts in urban areas. The authorities have decided to dash over to more reliable and eco-friendly systems to run its pumps right so what are these two dashes last three questions after this we'll finish it off hamesha mera class you know 10 minute aage hi chalta hai pata nahi kyun
डीडीसी डेली दिलवाला कॉर्पोरेशन ओके मैं सबका मीनिंग बताऊंगा वरीड मीन्स वरिंग वरिंग अबाउट द प्रोलॉन्ग पॉवर कट्स इन अर्बन एरिया द अथॉरिटीज है शिफ्ट ओवर राइट सो इट डजेंट मीन सच ए प्रॉपर मीनिंग राइट प्रॉपर मीनिंग नहीं है फ्रांटिक मूव फ्रांटिक का मतलब क्या है कंफ्यूज राइट फ्रांटिक का मतलब क्या है ओके फ्रांटिक का मतलब क्या है इट इज कंफ्यूज राइट इट इज कंफ्यूज सो रॉन्ग ट्रबल्ड एंड जंप ट्रबल्ड का मतलब क्या है इट इज कॉजिंग द मै ट्रबल राइट इट इज कॉजिंग द मै ट्रबल ओके सो हियर अथॉरिटीज हैव बीन यूज प्रॉब्लम किसको होगा प्रॉब्लम सिटीजन को होगा राइट Because of the power cuts, problems are experienced by citizens, not by authorities, right? Problems are experienced by citizens, not by authorities. So trouble का मतलब wrong है. Jump, jump is jumping over, right? Skipping, skipping over a topic, jumping over a topic. मतलब एक topic को छोड़ देना, right? Leaving off a topic, moving on to another topic, leaving off a topic in the between, leaving off a topic in the between and moving on to other topic. So this is also wrong. So concerned and switch. Concerned का मतलब क्या है Concern का मतलब क्या है Real concern दिखाना right? Real concern. Okay, that person is experiencing difficulties. We have to help him, right? Concern is something which is shown for help. Okay? Concern is uh, telling something for helping. Concern is for helping someone. Worrying is just worrying, right? Worrying is just worrying. So which one will be the right answer? Tell me. Option D, right? Concerned and switch. Concern is actually helping. So the authorities they want to help the rural people. Hence they are concerned about it and they will switch, right? Switch का मतलब क्या है? जो पहले है, okay? The old method which is there, you are cutting off the method and going on to a new method. The old method which is present, you will cut it off and go on to the new method. So that is called as switching. So it is option D, okay? Concerned and switch. Worrying is just worrying about it, not thinking about helping and all. So the mother worries about her son. Yeah, always tension is there, right? Beta ki dar gaya, beta kya kar raha hai? So that is called as worrying. Concern. Concern ka matlab hai real emotion. Okay, real emotion. You are helping. You want to help someone, right? You want to help someone. That is the reason it is called as concern. So it is option D. Got it? ये एंड डी दोनों सेम नहीं है देर इज अ डिफरेंस इन द इमोशन डिफरेंस इन द इमोशन सी के लिए सेंटेंस तारक तारक आई टोल्ड राइट ट्रबल्ड ट्रबल्ड का मतलब क्या है प्रॉब्लम देना राइट द प्रॉब्लम आर फॉर द सिटीजन दे आर नॉट फॉर द अथॉरिटीज राइट यस विष्णु आई विल गिव अटेंस फॉर सी राइट एवरी वन अंडरस्टूड दिस अंडरस्टूड दिस क्लियरली राइट right? चलो ट्रबल्ड और जंप के लिए विष्णु वाज ट्रबल्ड बाय हिस सीनियर्स हेंस ही जंप्ड ऑन टू अ न्यू स्कूल ओके विष्णु वॉज ट्रबल्ड बाय हिस सीनियर्स ट्रबल्ड हेंस ही जंप डॉन टू अ न्यू स्कूल मतलब एक ये स्कूल छोड़ दिया ठीक है दूसरा स्कूल चला गया राइट द सीनियर्स वे ट्रबलिंग विष्णु अलॉट राइट सो विष्णु इज जस्ट ए सेंटेंस टेक इट इन ए नॉर्मल मैनर राइट सो विष्णु वॉज ट्रबल्ड सो विष्णु वॉज ट्रबल्ड बाई सीनियर सीनियर्स बहुत तंग कर रहे थे उसे इसलिए विष्णु ने स्कूल ये स्कूल छोड़ दिया और दूसरा स्कूल जंप मार लिया राइट ही वेंट ऑफ टू न्यू स्कूल अंडरस्टूड विष्णु वॉज ट्रबल्ड बाई सीनियर्स हेन्स ही जम्प डाउन टू न्यू स्कूल क्लियर एवरी वन चल मी मोर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यस ही जम्प ऑफ द टेरेस टेरेस से उसने छलांग मार लिया राइट right? दबंग है वो दबंग सलमान खान है तेरे से छलांग मार लिया चलो नेक्स्ट वन ईगर टू पास इज फाइनल एग्जाम स्टडी वॉज द स्टूडेंट टॉप प्रायोरिटी सो दिस अंडरलाइन स्टेटमेंट इज दे सो विच वन विल गो फॉर इट इफ इट इज करेक्ट देन गिव द ऑप्शन डी और इन स्टेल मी द राइट ऑप्शन 
चलो चलो जल्दी जल्दी थ्री क्वेश्चन फिर फिनिश रहो right so let's see what have i told <clears throat> okay what have i told the correct option is b here okay the student made studying his top priority right so what is always the correct one tell me the student right first the subject right plus verb plus object right verb ka formation mein bataya hai maine right this i have told it clearly In the verbal ability class, first the subject, then the verb, then the object. है ना ये नहीं बताया मैंने बताया है ना मैंने S plus V plus O, right? तो so see here the student made studying his top priority subject, verb, object. So it is option B. In option A, what is happening? Tell me. Subject is there, object is there, verb is there. So it should follow this formula, right? Subject plus verb plus object. SVO formula चाहिए चाहिए हमें, right? You have to follow the SVO formula, not the SOV formula, है ना? So it is option B is the correct one. Got it? Subject. तो क्या कर रहा है subject? First we will talk about the subject. Then he we will talk what he is doing, and then we will talk why he is doing, right? Then we will talk why he is doing. The student made studying his top priority. Okay? Shreyas made horse riding his learning new habit, right? His new hobby, right? Clear, everyone? His new hobby. So that is why St subject plus verb plus object. Option B is the correct one. Everyone clear? Shall we move to the next question? Right? Yes. The entire village condoled dash the Jawan's widow in her bereavement, right? Dash the Jawan's widow in her bereavement. So here are the four options. Entire village colored the dash Jawan's widow का मतलब क्या है? The person who has lost her husband, right? Lost her husband. So that is called as widow. Bereavement का मतलब क्या है? It is grief, right? Grief. So Jawan जब शहीद होते हैं, right? So there will be a grief. There will be a grief का माहौल. पूरा वो माहौल रहता है, right? दुख का माहौल रहता है. So the entire village condoled dash the Jawan's widow in her bereavement. Ninety percent of people will go wrong in this. Okay, tell me, will it be for or with? Condoled for the Jawan's widow. The Jawan's widow is still alive, right? Jawan is dead. Okay. Jawan's widow, she is still alive. So why will you condole for her? She is still alive. So I will condole with her. No. Got the point? Why will you condole for her? The entire village condoled for the Jawan because the Jawan is dead, right? जवान शहीद हो गया इसलिए उसके लिए हम रो रहे हैं पर उसके बीवी के साथ हम रो रहे हैं साथ का मतलब क्या है विद वी क्राइड विद द जवान विडो वी क्राइड फॉर द जवान वी क्राइड विद द जवान विडो गॉट द पॉइंट हियर हम लोगों ने जवान के साथ राइट right? जवान के साथ जवान के बीवी के साथ रोया हम लोगों ने जवान के लिए रोया ठीक <coughs> है मैंने और विष्णु ने साथ में चोरी किया राइट right? मैंने और विष्णु ने साथ में चोरी किया आई डिड रॉबरी विद विष्णु ओके आई डिड रॉबरी विद विष्णु गॉट द पॉइंट हियर क्लियर यू आर मेंशनिंग द जवान विडो जवान विडो इज अलाइव सो यू आर क्राइंग विद हर ओके यू आर क्राइंग विद हर जवान इज डेड सो यू आर क्राइंग फॉर हिम ओके वाई विल यू कंडोल्ड टू Why will you control to? This is a subject, right? 
This is not an object. This is a subject. So why will you use to here? To is used for object. Okay. He is going to the village. He is going to write the exam. Okay. We don't use a subject there. He is going to meet her. Got it? So that is to. With or for hoga. Right? It won't be to. When you are going somewhere, when you are doing something, it is called as to. Not condoled to the javan. Right? Condoled with the javan. Chalo. The last question. Right? You condole with the person on or over her. Great misfortune. Right? The last question. A large area in Afghanistan is given over to poppy cultivation while billions of dollars have been spent by the West to eradicate the crop. Right? While billions of dollars have been spent by the West to eradicate the crop. So this is the underlined statement. So tell me which statement is the right one. Okay. Which statement will eradicate the error? Yeah, you condoled for her loss. Right? You condoled for her loss. Uske loss ke liye. What is the loss? The Jawan is dead. Right? The Jawan died. So that is the loss. The Jawan died, that is the loss. So we condole for her loss. Kiske liye aap ro rahe ho? Uske pati mar gaya. Iske liye hum ro rahe hai. Kiske saath aap ro rahe ho? Widow ke saath hum ro rahe hai. Right? So what is the previous question? You condoled with the Jawan's widow. You condoled for her loss. You condoled with her. You cried with her. Uske saath aap ne roya. Right? Uske liye aap roye. Got the point? No, no, no. You cannot use condoled to Jawan's death. We condoled for the Jawan's death. Not we condoled to the Jawan's death. That is wrong. How can you condole to something? You will do something or you will go to something. Right? I am going to meet her. We are going to the village. He is coming to me. She is going to them. Got it? Chalo, iska answer with jaldi. We condoled for her loss. Okay. So the loss. We are condoling for the loss. We are condoling with the subject. We are condoling for the object. For is for object. With is for subject. Right. With is for subject. So let's answer kya hai. Okay. BD. Others. Devashesh. Shmetank. Soumya. Subhijit. Satyamev. Right? Okay. B, 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 B. Right? It is option A. Right? While billions of dollars have been spent by the West to eradicate the crop, a large area in Afghanistan is given over to poppy cultivation. Right? It is given over. But what has happened? What has happened? The West has spent. Right? The West has spent billions of dollars for eradicating the crop. Eradicating the Poppy crop, right? So spent, have been spent. So iska matlab kya hai? This is in past tense, right? Past tense. So both are in past tense. So it is no improvement, right? Have been spent by the West to eradicate the crop. No improvement. So that is the answer, right? You guys need not do any improvement. While, yes, that is what? No improvement. So no improvement ke jage, the same option chipka diya. Confusion hoa na? Right? Confused ho gaye sab log. Agar no improvement tha, toh aap aram se e dete, right? So sometimes they will give you such questions, right? In sentence errors, they will repeat the same question again. So don't get confused here, okay? While, while ka matlab kya hai? It has already happened, right? What does wild mean? Yes, while means already happened. Okay. So why it is not but, I will tell you. Okay. But having been spent, right? What is this? See the tense Vishnu, right? 
सो दिस शुड बी इन पास्ट टेंस राइट इट हैज ऑलरेडी हैपन तो पास्ट टेंस में होना चाहिए कंटिन्यूस टेंस मतलब अभी भी हो रहा है राइट इट इज ऑलरेडी गिवन ओवर वट इज गिवन मीन गिवन का मतलब पास्ट तो इससे पहले ये हुआ है राइट समथिंग हैज हैपन बिफोर दिस सो हाउ कैन यूज ए कंटिन्यूस स्टेटमेंट हियर कंटिन्यूस टेंस हैविंग बीन स्पेंड मतलब अभी भी वी आर स्पेंडिंग इट इज इट ट्रू राइट इज इट ट्रू रॉन्ग नो Eradicate मतलब eliminate, मिटाना ओके इराडिकेट तो टेक इट ऑफ एलिमिनेट कट इट ऑफ कैंसल इट ऑफ सो दट इज कॉल्ड एज इराडिकेट हैव बीन होता तो देन यू कड गिवन द आंसर राइट बट बिलियंस ऑफ डॉलर हैव बीन स्पेंड बाई द वेस्ट टू इराडिकेटेड ये गिवन द आंसर इफ इट वॉज हैव बीन देन दिस वुड है राइट इफ इट वॉज हैव बीन देन इट वुड है राइट clear everyone any doubts any doubts in today's lesson we'll be finishing it here okay so i have another six questions that i have given as homework i will share the pdf in the group so please do solve the rest six questions okay and before solving the class this is the normal gate and ese subscription those who want to go for the 5000 month plan you can use the 10% off by using my referral code where you will get it off around 4500 and for these plans you guys will be having 15 to 20% off right 5% or 10% through your credits and 10% through my referral code okay so my next class will be tomorrow again 10:30 am tomorrow we will be having the next class of rapid revision for general english and i'll bring up a new topic tomorrow right i'll bring up a new topic tomorrow so let's focus on that also and at 3:30 today you guys will be having the numerical ability okay numerical ability plus course complete course on numerical ability so plus learners please you don't have to send the answers you just solve the answers okay i have given the options next only right next slide mein i have given the answers for it i have given the right options for it so just go for the right options agar option sahi hai to wo theek hai agar option galat hai then if you if there are any confusions you can contact me right you can contact me and those people who want to contact me can use my email id shreyas_arvind at yahoo dot in right or else you can also message me on the unacademy app right message me using the unacademy app right so see you all in the next session for the general english which is 10:30 am tomorrow right please don't forget to log into the numerical ability plus course and please do watch it and if there are any doubts regarding the plus subscription or any other doubts regarding to aptitude portions and all you can contact me by email using my email address or you can message me using the unacademy app right message me using the unacademy app okay <clears throat> i'll wait for a period of 1 minute If there are any questions, please do ask me. Right? I'll wait for a period of one minute. If there are any questions, please do ask me. Thank you, Satyamev. Thank you, Devashish. Thank you, Subhajit. I think twenty uh, credits. Twenty or ten credits, lagenga. Uh, right okay i hope so there are no no doubts right there are no doubts from anyone okay so thank you everyone right we'll meet again in the tomorrow session right 10:30 am tomorrow with a new topic on general english have a good day and please stay safe